but what this is is a good time for Arn is called back and he's let you know mm-hmm. that uh, if you can get down to the apartment building you can get in uh, to Vale's um, building because it's under a drill now so he, he got that worked out for you you have that opportunity to to PI break in right. as Kuman pointed out <laughs> the legal <Funny>. breaking in <laughs> And you've got essentially you've got the the next few hours or so. Essentially, have to go straight there. Yeah. So let's do it. Lizzie tells Brack, like reemphasizes to Brack that it's important that she maintain um, neutrality publicly. Um, but obviously, he knows where my sympathies lie. Yeah. You know. So um, we have to go do some PI work. Uh, with our friend Madame Vale, but um, I'll let you know if that turns up anything. You or Arn, you know, word will get around. Yeah. Do you have that? Are you leaving that communicator here with with me for yes. our purposes? All right. Thank um, you. Well, because that's what Arn asked me to do, right? Yes. Is to get that in the uh, Rebel pipeline, and as a favor to Arn, I'm doing that because he just really hooked me up. So, I mean, I'm not telling Brack that. But no, no, yeah, I'm tracking with yeah. you that you're honoring the deal, which is good to know. Yeah. Because uh, that's essentially what he's asking to trade. Yeah, and that's fine. I don't need this, and they can make better use of it, so that's fine. So what's the... It's also good to know from Brack that the Rebels absolutely were not involved in this at all. Like, yeah. that it was completely a setup from beginning to end, so... Um, cool. Hey, guys, let's move out. Oh, Kuman, <laughs> you're looking... Okay. Cuter? So kawaii. Uh, don't, uh, don't say it. <laughs> 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 oh. Cal strikes again. What can I say, guys? Great so, job, Cal. Uh, you guys have an opportunity while you're driving down there to go over your strategy for <clears throat> getting into this building. The things that you would know from Arn that would be a part of this is that um, there's going to be a police presence, you know, a little blockade around the, the, the entrances to shut down the building. So that would be step one. And then Step two is you know that there's going to be a security cameras and other things still operating from the security office on the on the lobby floor on the first floor as you come in there's a security desk you guys didn't see this because you came in through the uh, garage entrance last time but this is standard truck and well security um, that you may or may not care about but there are security cameras all over the entrances as well. Um, and then you'll have to find a way past the security blocker on the turbo lift to get up into the apartment before you can search it. Is there a way to um, enter through the garage like we did last time? Uh, Yeah, you could enter through the garage, but there's still going to be a police presence at the entrance to it. Uh, I say we get the uh, driver to drive us back in. That's a great idea, because he'd probably be able to get in easy, right? And if we're in a limo, no, they would because probably- they've closed down the building for you. Oh, so they won't let him in. Correct. Their their job is specifically to make sure everyone is evacuated from the building for the drill. And so they would it, let me in as a PI because I'm not saying they're going to let you in. I'm saying that's a role and part of your strategy. <laughs> how are you getting in, Cal? How are we getting in? I'd put me in front of someone, point me, and I'll talk to them. All right, we're doing it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he's my partner. I assume at this point he has some official looking documentation. I'm going to try really hard not to flash around like I'm Lizzie pre PI, you know. Seems smart for the best. Uh, if I can avoid it. So, um, but I'm not going to try to disguise myself or anything either because then it just makes me look guilty. Um, so I'm going to let- would try to like, would like to try to athletically scale the outside of the building up onto like a balcony and then into the, you know, into the apartment. She's That's on exactly. like the 50th floor or something, right? Well, yeah, but I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing Kuman, just like with the the battering, just, yeah, exactly. yeah. just and then the camera just turns. Yeah. He's like one floor up. Woo. 
Yeah. Forty-nine but, more to go. Yeah, this is your opportunity to discuss the the strategy to get in before you have to necessarily make these rolls. And if Guman disappears or tells the group, you guys would know that that's his plan to go in yeah. through the window. So why was the building shut down again? Because we arranged for them to do a security drill with the cops. Okay, okay. Lauren would have told you that it's a, a essentially a bomb threat has been called in, but in that it's a bomb threat drill. So they've cleared the building as if there's a bomb there, but there's no, the police even know that there's no bomb in there. It's just a drill. Well, if, I don't know if we do, but if we want to talk our way in, there's a lot of truth there for me to mention and then ask to be let in. <laughs> I can charm without lying. That yeah. I'm going to go for a still the drill. Talking. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm going to aim for the slip in through the crowd, maybe, um, or, you know, where people are looking. I'm going to not do that. So we'll meet you <laughs> in the apartment, Kuman. I'm going to let Cal talk me in because. Yeah. It's probably it's best for you to lay low. Gonna be easier for me. I, I don't feel like scaling a building, it's all the same. So what's your guys plan for the security tape? So are you just splitting up and I was gonna say if they're if they're trying to talk their way in, maybe I can slip into the security room and disable the camera feed or something like that while I'm in there. That would be smart. That'd I be like awesome. That. Meet inside. I actually like that. So it'd be pretty cool for you to stealth it out. Get us in without the security cams. Cal likes that idea, by the way. Doesn't <laughs> like cameras or technologies. And uh, we'll meet you inside. And is there? Didn't you mention a, a second obstacle with the uh, power lift? Yeah, the the turbo lift was the only way in and out of the apartment, and so it requires a security clearance uh, to take you up to that Do we, apartment uh, penthouse level. Any, any of us good at? Uh, Computers? Because I I've, don't know. I've got a decent untrained computers check. Okay. Um, and I have a, um, what do I have? I have a contact that is a computer specialist, as you established in previous episodes. Get them down here? Is that Mossy? Moss Z? It's not Mossy. I can't remember who it is. I do remember somebody, but I couldn't remember who it was. You have a slicer who's not Mozzie? Yeah, Mozzie's not a slicer. He's an information broker. He's right? an information broker, yeah. Who did you... Okay, hold on. I'm going to look through these. I thought I remember that too, to be fair. So I just can't remember who. I wish I could find my notes from our previous game. I really cannot, though. I mean, this wasn't either of the Jonas. Oh, Jimmy and John? Yeah. No. No, it's not. Okay. I don't, think I don't so have one noted here for you. Man. I could have sworn we had one as well, but maybe I'm thinking of something else. Was Mossy good at computers? Dottie was decent. Yeah, Dottie was decent. Where did Mossy go? I mean, do we call Dottie? <laughs> we could call Dottie. <laughs> Dottie's not going to pick up. I think Dottie is in. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I'm sure. Dottie's in an ice cave <laughs> running errands for the rebellion. I'm sure we had one because I'd specifically contacted him well, do about the have one? Do Dottie, have one? about training right. Dottie. Yeah. Once I get into the security room, well, I have access, oh, perhaps. Okay. To, Can you to do that? Up. I mean, isn't your computer's tech basically a lightsaber? <laughs> no, uh, I'm going to spill something on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Classic. Um, you could disable the turbo lift security from the computers in the I mean, security room. Pressing it to turn off yeah, the just computers. Then. Leave. But you, I mean, it is it is still a computer's check. Okay. I assume the guy in the security room, though, has a good computer skill. But you do have a black tie on your intimidation. Because <laughs> you're just so cute. 
maybe he can use that as a coercive thing. Yeah, maybe uh, exactly. Or athletics. Maybe I can like <laughs> just quickly just, grab his hands, like, and just spin him, him, him up in the hand. air, and then set him back down. You know, <laughs> do what I want. <laughs> I'll Rochambeau you first. <laughs> exactly. I mean, to be fair, if if that's the case, and we're gonna trust Kuma, oh, no, no. I have great deception. The... Well, I mean, you know, I have I have a rank in deception, so I could just deceive him and make him think that that's fair. Uh, we need to clear the building, and to do that, I need to clear her. You know, personally clear every apartment because I'm part of the I'm, I'm part of the crew. And that's and that's have... the lot, not the lie, but the, that's what that's what. Uh... Cal's gonna imply that we're meant to be there, basically. There you go. Yeah. So we're we're good. So that would fit in with what, like, why we when we meet up, it would all make sense. And obviously, my presence there confirms because otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get into the building. So, right. right? Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. I'm tracking I'm, with you guys. With you. All right. <laughs> okay. Is your stealth skill good? I mean, I actually kind of like it yeah. in the sense of I like you separate, like. Because if I fail my charm, but you succeed your stealth, at least you're in. You know what I mean? I'd rather yeah, one of us get in than the other. I'm only good at two things. Moving small objects with my mind and, <laughs> and staying hidden. <laughs> staying oh, hidden yeah. about it. Then, then let's definitely, I'm totally 100% down having two different checks to have two different opportunities to get into the building. Okay. So where do you guys let Kuman out then? So, I mean, I'm assuming it's somewhere near the building, but as you guys get close, there's the the roadblocks that you're going to have to figure out how to navigate past. All right. Um, Wherever he wants out. Is yeah. it, would it be possible? Would it be possible for me to go to a na- nearby building, go to the roof, and then jump across onto the other roof? Sounds like Batman. Yes. Me, so. Let's do that. <laughs> the GM would love for you to do this. Because fall damage Uh-oh. is the most dangerous damage. Yeah, that is true. If you fall high risk, high, high reward. Six, you're dead. Although, yeah. then you have to figure out a way down to the security room. But we can cross that bridge when we get to it. Because I meant to say that I'm good at three things. <laughs> <laughs> is that falling? And you've already rolled falling? a stealth check tonight, so jumping, jumping large distances. Oh, okay. In a single bound. I thought. Oh, yeah. You do have the curl for First that. Jump. Now. Right. Well, right. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the curl should add the jumping. Ah, the blue eyes. <laughs> no. He's got the Superman curl. It's a great narrative thing to say that slicing through the wind in a unique way as he goes over, but yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think I'll give up a, a boost dice to that. All right. That's fair. Well, this is just going to be a force check anyway, as long as the, is the jump within short range or, or do I need to? Oh, that's a good question. Let me think about that. I mean, it's downtown. The buildings are really close together, right? Technically, if I roll two force pips, I can jump to within uh, three range bands. So, what is that like? Is that long range? Yeah. Yeah, that would be up to long range. But I don't, I don't think it's long range that you have That's to jump far. That's like thirty yeah. feet or something. Or right. more. I don't know. Long range is super long. Long range yeah. is like uh, sniper like distance. Sniper, yeah, sniper yeah. distance is way more than. Uh, well, that's extre- like there is an extreme feet. as well. <laughs> yeah, there is extreme. But extreme is like short planetary range. It's all very confusing. <laughs> I would say that this is... Oh, wait, I take that back. I didn't buy the range upgrade for, for force sleep. That was for... Um, uh-huh. I, can move, I can move small objects uh, out to long range. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God we have that skill. <laughs> but, but I can only jump to short range. Okay. We'll make it short range, okay. but it's going to, um, I'm still going to take a stealth check as well from it. Okay. So the, the way I'm seeing it is that the, the amazing apartment building that Madame Vale lives in, um, demands a decent view of the area. Uh, you know, like looking down on Central Park or something along those lines. And so the place where you can jump from one building to the other is significantly lower um, floors, like three or four floors up. And so you're still within a visual range of the uh, the ground. But uh, so you have to make both those on whether or not you're spotted. 
But why don't you jump first and see if you make it, and then we'll find out how stuffily you you made it. Oh yeah, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> You're using more dark really side. Angry about it. I don't like being framed. I'm sorry. I'm I'm super, that's, and I'm that's fair. I'm, uh, Do you, you have know, to flip a light side token to use dark side with where you're at now? Oh, I think there's something well, about strain at least. Yeah. I believe there's going to be, you, you have one more t destiny token that you can flip to use it. I think that's a, um, that's a requirement. And then you'll suffer a strain or uh, a conflict as well. I'll leave the strain out of it. I don't mind suffering the strain. Uh, that's fine. Uh, yes, yeah, so we'll take the conflict and and flip the token so we can get across. Okay, you're and out then, of destiny tokens now. All right. And you also want the stealth token. Yes. Is this going to be um... stealth? Is going to be a average. And you can have a. I mean, you don't need it, but you can have a blue dice as well. Maybe I do. <laughs> and wow! Oh, oh. all right. What's the advantage? The person that sees him doesn't care. I think they see something more along the lines of, "What's that up there?" It's a bird. It's a plane. Is it a plane? <laughs> It's a very attractive whatever nautilus. What are you? It's a very attractive nautilus. Man, are you a nautilus? Is that correct? Yeah, I'm not. Oh, a okay, I'm making sure I said right. <laughs> it's a guy with cute hair. <laughs> Who's his stylist? Oh, it's right. Cal. Cal gets a blue dye for feeling so confident. So the the drunk well uh, security definitely notices this person jump overhead I, they, they can't make out any information of, of why it's happening um and i think as they're trying as they're kind of scratching their heads and looking up is the time for cal to pull up to the parking garage absolutely it is and so uh, he calls our attention yeah uh calls our attention and uh i don't know if you want me to charm first roll first or roll later and you're you're driving into the parking garage right yeah okay so rolling down the window right so their Actually, essential first interaction with you is to kind of wave you off and you can make your role and decide how well okay. you talk your so way into this okay what's the yeah i think that's fair what's the difficulty <laughs> i think it's just average still okay yeah i think i have the right well hello <laughs> okay one, two, three, four, five, six successes. And a and subtle threat. threat. And a subtle, subtle threat. Again, with the, I succeeded. I, I think I talked down to him a little bit, and he feels a little peeved. But, <laughs> but no more than the, a big boss coming in and acting like he owns the place when he does. So I think your threat is that they... They, they listen to you go back and forth a little bit about how you're supposed to be there. And this is um, part of the whole experience and Detective Arn said you could be there or, or what, whatever mm -hmm. is the truth. I name Charm. drop as much as I can. Don't drop his name, though. <laughs> well, not his, but I, I act like I know what the I have. I kind of gotcha. overemphasize. Like, I knew this test was coming. Like, you know, we all want to go home. It's late at night. Like, just, you know what I mean? Kind of yeah. playing up on the people who don't really feel like being there. And so your threat is that as, they, as they're as they waving you in, you do hear that, um, you hear over the radio, they, they get a call and stop paying attention to you that someone is trying to enter the building um, mm. illicitly and that they're going to have to come check this out. How would they okay. get that information? The other police officer saw Kuman jump over oh. the building, and that's not an authorized exercise. Have, um, it's not an authorized, you, authorized <laughs> entrance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Do we have communication with Kuman? Yeah. Yes. Could I really quickly kind of um, over the intercom 
after I pulled up, windows rolled up, I kind of quickly over the intercom to Coom and say uh, they're on to you. Yeah, you can let him know that. But I think the the wrinkle that you have now is you, you succeeded enough and all the barriers are up for people to leave. You're able to park where Jovi parked before. So you awesome. see the turbo lift that you're after um, that could take you up to where you need to go. But the what you know and what you're able to tell Kuman is that the um, Druckenwell security is now checking the building. Mm. Um. I, over the intercom, after I say they're on, um, kind of go, uh, they're really on to you, but we may be able to flip this in our advantage. You might be able to use that, use, um, take them on a wild goose chase. A lot of security is heading your way, and instead of taking it, taking them into the security room, you might be able to, if you can stealth around, distract them long enough for me and Lizzie to make our way up. So... I pull a John Bender and I run down the hallway, <laughs> slapping lockers, <laughs> screaming, I want to be an Air Force Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Jerkerwell Security uh, Corp is now heading your way. Um, Does that leave the security room open? Because that would, I would love to. Turn off this. Yeah, can I like run by the security room and pound on the door and then run off and maybe try to get the guy to chase me? Um, I don't think that would have the effect on a trained security person that you're after. I think that that would send the room into lockdown. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think that from the parking garage, you don't have direct access to the the security room. So your Lizzie and Kel's immediate hurdle is going to be getting the uh, turbo lift working, and then could you can I go up or down from here? there. If that, could I make another one? There's no one to charm currently. It's okay, just you and Lizzie I, well, in an empty parking garage. People, so you told me I saw people, I saw the, did I see the turbo lift? Yeah. You're parked next to it. And there were security in front of it, right? No. Oh, okay. So never mind. Then I thought there was security in front of it. No, no, no. So basically, it, the entrance to the parking garage is where the barrier was. And you charmed yourself so well that they just were let you through. But your threat is that they're no longer paying attention to you either. So that's why you can't okay. make another charm check, is they are coordinating their efforts to find the intruders. But they definitely don't think that Lizzie and Kel are intruders. Okay. So now our challenge is to get the turbo lift working. That's right. Because yeah, that's All not right. me. I'm not touching that. I'll try a computer's check on that. Yeah, that'd be hard. Okay. That's three purple? Yeah. Yes. Three purple. Are we close enough to this rock and playlist that I get a blue die? <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, roll stuff that one does turn. All right, and I want to be clear that Lizzie is being careful. Like, she's going to do this or she's going to do nothing. Like, she doesn't want to do anything that's going to cause the turbo lift to, like, go into lockdown or break. You know? Don't roll any threat. <laughs> oh, great. <thanks. laughs> that's the advice. Ooh. Hey, that's a lot of advantage. Threat, so you took the advice. I didn't. I rolled a lot of advantage. But I failed. Could so, the well, let's 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 real quick before we, we discuss any more. Were you trying to go up to the apartment, or are you trying to go down to the security room? Oh, that's important. I didn't realize the security room was down. Yeah, um, you're on like basically the third floor of the parking garage. And there's. I've been in this turbo lift before. There's a camera in there, right? Yes. I feel like Lizzie understands the importance of not being seen. That seems to be a high priority. Yeah, so she would have probably then not even gone into the turbo lift at all. Like, she wants to take the stairs down to where the security room is. There aren't stairs here just because this is Star Wars. Your access is the turbo lift. But security wise, you, 
you need to go up with your advantage you can go down to the lobby from the the turbo lift yeah we do that so but the lobby's crawling with people right there are currently there's a contingent of the um security force in the lobby uh they i mean for four advantage they don't notice that you guys are that the turbo lift doors have opened and all of that Thanks for joining us. You know the deal here. Subscribe to stay tuned to our misadventures. If you enjoyed us, give us a like and hit that bell icon. And of course, keep us honest on the rules and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time on the Dicey Cantina. Bye.